Hey guys, Michael J. Crawford here. And this video, I, I want, I, I owe you guys an explanation. And I want to make something, just make, make it public knowledge. Most of you, anybody that's followed me on Twitch, uh, already knows most of what I'm about to say. At the end of March, I had a incident where I uh, accidentally perforated an eardrum. Uh, went into the uh, uh, urgency care. They, you know, looked at it, said, "Yeah, you got problems. You know, here's some antibiotics. Rest. Have a nice day." But the problems seemed to be getting worse over the next week, not better, like they should have. Uh, I began being very disoriented, uh, having difficulty focusing or uh, both just my attention on something or uh, to have good cognitive focus on like a, 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 a mental task. It was becoming more and more difficult to do things like write a script for a YouTube video. Um, that's why this video is completely unscripted. I. I can't write a script right now as much as I would like to and I'm hoping that I can get my points across in this video I apologize if I don't get everything out there but I want to try to make sure you guys understand what's going on so I, I it was weird and, and it still is very bizarre to where I have such a difficult time just maintaining focus and concentrating on things in addition to that my equilibrium uh, has been getting worse. When I walk around, uh, I literally look like uh, someone who's been drinking a bit too much. And it's, it's you know, to the point where, uh, fortunately, I've, I ha I've stumbled quite a few times. I haven't actually taken a nasty fall as of yet, because but I'm very aware of the problem, so I'm always walking near something that I can grab, or if I have to walk across an open space, I always have like Mrs. Antitracker with me there or something to hold my hand, make sure that uh, I'm steady. And I actually do, you know, unfortunately, I hate to break it out of mothballs from when I had the surgery. I have a walker that I can use uh, in the future, and I'm going to probably have to moving now from now on, or at least for the time being. So this was very, concerning for me i mean I've, I've never had anything quite like this now this is why here we are towards the end of april and i have not put out any videos in the last couple of weeks uh the only thing i've really been able to do is i played some games on twitch because that doesn't require intense focus and concentration granted i'm sucking at the games compared to how i usually would play but uh, I, at least that's something i'm still somewhat capable of doing so if you're not already if you want to hang out drop by on twitch link will be in the description below and so uh i'm so i've been dealing with this and and just kind of freaking out and the doctor finally after a couple of weeks had me go in to get an mri and the MRI yielded some interesting results. And in a few days, I have to go back in for a CAT scan. And there's a couple of things. Number one, it looks like they're going to have to do a rather invasive surgical procedure to reconstruct my inner ear, um, which sounds horrifying. Oh, and I forgot to mention, aside from the lack of being able to concentrate and the, um, uh, man, the lack of being able to concentrate and the lack of equilibrium, uh, I'm also, um, been hearing an intense ringing in my ears. Now I've always had, and I, I, I don't know, I've always called it tinnitus, but I guess it's actually pronounced tinnitus. Uh, I've always had a, a case of tinnitus where uh, if, like, at the end of the day, turn off the lights, turn off the TV, I could hear the ringing in my ears. It was annoying. Uh, whenever I was sitting quietly, uh, I would hear the ringing in my ears. It was always annoying. 
but it just got way louder uh, to the point where now it's the loudest thing I hear all the time. And to kind of give you an idea, this is basically what I hear all the time. And I will, so this tone, and I'm going to put it against my voice to kind of give you an idea. This is what I'm experiencing 24 seven right now. And I'm not going to make you suffer through that anymore because that's just annoying. And that's just, uh, you know, so, so there, that's another thing that, you know, the, that I've been seeing the doctor about anyway. So they do these scans and they come back and they say, okay, well, we, we're going to definitely need to do this surgery. And then they also, they did some more looking around and they decided that, well, there are some polyps in my sinus cavity, which are what the culprit is causing the damage to my inner ear. Uh, the perforated eardrum coincidental basically it you know it, it but uh it just happened and it, 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 it's entirely possible that the eardrum might not have normally ruptured except for the additional pressure that was going on from uh the other problems so uh the perforated eardrum really is just a matter of some pain and uh brief equilibrium problems but the uh so so the the permanent fix for this is going to be apparently two surgeries which i am not looking forward to i've already had more surgeries than i would like to that's uh. however and this is where things kind of go into a more disturbing area and, and this is what's really at the core of what where, where I've been struggling a lot lately. And I, and I know, you know, unfortunately these types of videos, nobody's going to watch it, maybe a couple hundred of you, but I want to get it out to as many people as I can, just so that people will know why there hasn't been much activity on my channels as of late. So in addition to the problems that they found where that, where the uh, fix is going to have to be these surgical procedures. They also, the MRI detected some abnormalities in the white matter of my brain. And so looking at those abnormalities, it is consistent with MS. And the interesting thing about MS is that among the many symptoms of MS, because MS affects different people different ways, but uh, mood swings, which I have been prone to, depression, which I have been prone to, loss of equilibrium, which I have been experiencing, uh, tinnitus, which I have been experiencing, uh, lack of concentration, which clearly I've been experiencing. So the surgery will no doubt help but it, now, now I'm, I'm, they're trying to schedule me to see a neurologist, but unfortunately, you know, the healthcare system, what it is, uh, the earliest they can schedule me to see an actual neurologist is like August, and this is late April. Um, and basically, I just have to keep calling the neurology department and hope that they get a cancellation so they can squeeze me in. Uh, the... If it is MS, I could be looking at a very difficult time ahead. And I, I hope that's not the case. For those of you that are believers, I would ask you to keep me in my prayers. And if and when I am able, I will try to get back to posting the regular fun type of content that I like to post. If I can't, I will at least try to put up an update video like this one every once in a while so that you guys know what's going on. Uh, and, you know, and, and that, now I do have 
two channels. I don't advertise the other one on you know be on this on the anti trekker channel so uh if you're watching this on the anti trekker channel that's what i'm talking about as far as fun content if you're watching me on the templar channel then obviously the content is a little more serious minded but you but the same basic thing the reason i haven't been doing scripted videos is because i haven't been able to write a script but i will still post these updates for the time being and hopefully maybe you know maybe do commentaries on stuff like i'll probably i haven't watched it yet even though this is uh friday morning uh the 23rd i have not yet watched uh falcon winter soldier i haven't yet watched um mortal Kombat. i plan on watching both of those if i'm able and i'll give my thoughts but it's going to be difficult for me to be focused and and succinct on review type stuff on the templar channel uh, you know, I'm going to talk a lot about spiritual issues while dealing with this type of situation, because I think that that is, you know, at, at both the pros and cons, I'm not going to pull any punches. And so uh, if, if you're interested in commentary on that, uh, that, that'll be coming too. Um, and we'll see where it goes. I don't know what the future is going to bring. I'm concerned, genuinely. Not because I'm afraid of my personal deteriorating condition as much as being able to take care of my family. And that's a very real and very deep fear indeed. But I have to deal with that the best I can. And with God's grace, I will get through this. Um, but you guys deserve to know what's really going on. I will keep you posted as best I can. Take care.